It's super fast. Fingerprint reader does not always work well when phone is in car cradle. Battery charges very fast, doesn't last as long as I would like, although it has never run out. All around it is the best phone I have ever had. Asterisk 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 I've had it about three months now. Still like the phone, but have had some problems. I bought it because it was the international version and I was traveling to Europe. Well data did not work in Italy. My wife's free phone from T-Mobile worked perfectly. But I had to buy a local SIM for data. Also, it has frozen on me a couple of times. So, it's more like a 4 plus star phone, not 5 stars. I have owned many phones before this one and without a doubt this is the best by far. So easy to set up. So easy to navigate. No mistake buying this phone and no buyer's remorse. Much better than my Samsung Note and my wife's iPhone. The only problem is now she wants one and yes, the camera is fantastic. Not one complaint. Posting this to include photo. This is an excellent phone for the price. It is comparable to the most expensive phones from Apple and Samsung. It is very fast. Applications work with no lag and there is great response in multitasking. The quality of the photos and videos is excellent. This phone has nothing to envy the higher end, most expensive phones. The quality of the images is much better resolution than the latest iPhone. On this phone you can zoom in on the pictures and still see extremely fine detail. On the latest iPhone from a family member, zooming in on the pictures is pixelated. The only downside I have seen so far is Xiaomi's use of a custom version of Android, which at least to me, is less intuitive than stock Android as seen on the Google Pixel phones. Other than that, this phone is excellent and comparable in every way more expensive phones such as the Google Pixel 3 and the Huawei P30. I RECD this in the early afternoon and was like a kid waiting on the holiday. I simply slipped the SIM from my Samsung J7, which I've had for the past 3. 5 years. I was avoiding the $1000 price tag on Samsung and Apple's. A very IT knowledgeable friend had mentioned the OnePlus and I studied them. Then I ran into the Xiaomi. Researched and decided to give it a go. Less than $500 and it is so blazing fast. Two cons. One is the lack of the headphone jack though they supply a nib adapter for it. It's just not easy to keep up with a nib the other is documentation. Extremely small print so with a magnifier. I found it still lacking in operational documentation. But who needs that in this day and age wit. 
I will try to give my review update in a month for the final whoop or not. Update October 6, 2019 After a month of use, it is a big whoop. Blazing fast and easy to use. I did refer to YouTube twice in the beginning. I don't miss the headphones as I am typically Bluetoothing, TV stations, audiobooks and telephone, through my car. Photos are fantastic and I've only utilized about half of this phone's capabilities. We added a OnePlus 7 to our family cadre last week and I am trying to compare the two when I can. Final comment 5 months in. Love both this phone and the OnePlus 7. Both have the Snapdragon 855 processor and function very similarly. Fast. Cameras are incredible and the GPS through maps is fast and reliable even with reroutes in my metro area. The OnePlus is an 8GB with 256 RAM but is about a 100 to 125 more. Still on both, I save somewhere between 500 to 700 for a current generation phone. My first ever as I always shopped within budget and now by processor. It looks even better than on the pictures. I'm delighted with the beauty and the quality of the phone. I hope it's not gonna have any issues with the software either. So far so good. I've been an iPhone user for years, and while Apple makes good products for the most part, they are usually horrendously overpriced. After using the iPhone X for two years, I started getting bored of the iPhone way of doing things, so I finally decided to buy an Android. I went with the MI9 simply because it's incredible value. It competes with the top-of-the-line phones that are double the price. This phone is super when fast-loading apps and web pages especially if you turn animations off with its 6GB of RAM and the Snapdragon 855 chip. The fingerprint scanner is quick and works pretty much every time and the facial recognition is even quicker, although it does have trouble seeing me at night sometimes. Click link in description for more reviews.